Hey guys, it's Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. Friday night, 9.48 p.m. Mountain Time, September 22nd, 2017. I'm doing a seismic update here. We have had six earthquakes reported in one day off the Pacific coast west of Ferndale, culminating in a magnitude 5.7, which was recorded today, this afternoon, 135 miles west of Ferndale. I'm going to include links to this uh, report here as well as this map. The earthquake in question happened on the Gorda Escarpment, which is very, uh, which is part of the San Andreas complex. I'm going to include this paper here so you can get familiar with the evolution of the Gorda Escarpment, San Andreas Fault, and Mendocino Triple Junction. Real quick, I'll show you a picture of the activity on the Mendocino Triple Junction since 1985, including two M7 pluses. And we are well overdue for a 7 plus earthquake magnitude on this escarpment here. So I'm going to include links to this as well as the paper on the evolution. The Mendocino fracture zone here, you can see part of this multiple system. Um, I'll leave links to this. Here's the latest from USGS. What I'm showing you um, is the last seven days, all magnitudes. Standard kind of stuff happening here on the San Andreas down to LA. But this is the uh, area in question that has had, if we just go to one day, magnitude 2.5, you can see the type of activity going on the Gorda Escarpment here. Quite intense. Nothing big yet. But these could be precursors to a large quake, I'm just saying. And remember, what I showed you earlier in earlier videos, that big earthquakes occur at low sunspot numbers. I will uh, put a link to this, as well as the graph, so you can see for yourself that large earthquakes happen at big, at low sunspot numbers. We are currently in the lowest sunspot number in, re in the last over 120 years. And I'll include a link to this paper here cosmic solar radiation as the cause of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions so guys once again we've had some uh, seismic activity here six earthquakes reported in the mendocino fault zone i'm going to include links to all this so you can get familiar about what's going on here and what will happen eventually on this fault zone there will be a big quake maybe not today but it's telling us that it wants to move if you live in the California area going into the Grand Solar Minimum, I would recommend you move away from fault zones, move inland for safety. Because there's a correlation between cosmic rays, solar minimums, large earthquakes, and volcanic eruptions. And there is nothing but faults and volcanoes in this area, folks. So I would say for your safety, go to the map, hit seven days all magnitude, and move away from all these dots. Because these earthquakes are only gonna increase in magnitude and in frequency moving forward. I hope you got something out of the video.